Welcome to Analytics with Nax. This is another video in the Catch Up with Nax series where I'm going to talk about Power BI release February 2025. What features has been released in this month and which is uh, useful to us. Let's try to check it out as part of this video. So as usual, I'm not going to talk all the features, only the features I like. So basically now we have a modeling performance improvement um where this is not a modeling for a general thing it's all about um, one leg model where you can able to edit from the power bi desktop and that uh, performance has been improved by 50 percentage upgrade power bi desktop to 60 bit 64 bit version meaning like the 32 bit version of power bi desktop is no more supported by microsoft so it's recommended uh, we start using the 64-bit version this is the important update those who are using for the uh, the 32-bit version and copilot there are two important things copilot arrived at how copilot arrived at this and visual answers this is always um, important when you uh, work with the AA products uh, to double check right this will ensure we can double check it meaning like you ask a query in a text uh, like uh, what is the quantity sold in this country for this category in this year then uh, whether copilot has picked up the right columns to apply those filters right the country category and year right so you can double check it using these uh, how copilot has added this feature is that i will show it in a demo and visual answers where earlier i mean you can able to explore your visuals uh, with different options i will also walk you through about this then one like catalog is available in your teams it's again it's a fabric thing it's not closely related to power bi but when you started using uh, power bi in fabric where one like concept and one like catalog are familiar with you uh, so those unlike catalog is available in teams now with this note this channel contains free content that covers uh, msbi power bi fundamentals of azure and sql please utilize this free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's begin so this is our release february 2025 first thing first so they already uh, told uh, like 32 bit version of is no longer be supported after 6 30 2025 it's not uh, now it's a heads up basically right so it's time for us to upgrade it to uh, 64 bit version now um, other thing as i said copilot a lot of uh, uh, features available here the important thing what we need to know is updated section how copilot arrived at this right if you see when you ask a um, uh, question here what is the order quantity for subcategories under the bikes in 2019 so here you didn't mention uh, which column to pick it up for the bikes right bikes can be in the product bikes can be in some uh, sub product or bikes can be in some other description column wherever it is so how it can be arrived right so now you can see how copilot arrived at this feature at the bottom then it will show you what columns it picked up data use subcategory order quantity category is bikes filter supplied you see in the subcategory hierarchy it used the category um, uh, as bike you know or whatever how, how you model design then here is 2019 this particular column so this is how uh, this will cross verify we can able to verify whether it has brought the correct column picked up the correct columns or not then there comes the explore from copilot visual answers so here uh, earlier in order to change this um, chart right we need to add this visual to the um, uh, report pane then we can able to edit so now we don't need to do you can click on this then you can change your chart types here so this is how you can able to explore this visual option is available in the copilot these are the two important improvements from the those who started using the copilot option 
then reporting conditional formatting support for visual calculations visual calculations we already know we can do your calculations within the visuals earlier the um, conditional formatting is not supported and right now it started supporting as well then one last feature uh, like as i said like modeling live edit for semantic models in a direct lake mode with power bi desktop so this once you have started using february 2025 this will significantly enhance modeling performance for live editing of your directly semantic models they claim like it is 50 percentage improvement in each modeling change so i hope um, you understand uh, what are the new features uh, available in this month irrespective of um, the each announcements whatever they make it is always advisable you start using the latest version of power bi desktop in your organization and in your work and it is good to know and each month what are the features they have added so that you can implement and do your job better if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries do remember that data is your